Hello, Virgo. Thank you for joining me, Tootsie, at Snake Lady Tara. Welcome to the birthday special. I'm doing your general energy reading. We'll take a look at your energy and the energy around you and give you some foresight, some messages, advice over the next few days or so while we're ending Pisces season. We're right at the cusp. All right, so like, share, subscribe, you guys. Hit that notifications button. Don't miss out on future readings. Maybe you're not Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo in your birth chart or you're in a relationship and love or interested in Virgo energy. Cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here also. Let's get into it, you guys. All right, so contentment, go with the flow. This is pulling out for a lot of signs this morning. Um, Virgo, you are putting down a lot of things, different projects, hobbies, things to do, um, energies you're walking away from. You're very content with who you are and content with going with the flow at the pace and in the direction that you're heading in. Um, you don't want to make a lot of changes and communication is not, this is what you've been communicating. Hey, I'm content. Hey, I'm going with this. Nobody's stopping me. No one is going to become an obstacle. Um, but that's been your main energy lately. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get some advice, some details for you. What does Virgo need to know? Mercury, here's communication, quick thinking, and multitasking, shooting out. All right, communication. I feel like, Virgo, you found a vibe and you're not letting it go. It's near and dear to your heart, very four of pentacles energy. All right, you have a question about time within a week, within one week, seven days. All right, we have union, reunite, connect, harmony, twin flame, mirror, psychic energy, psychic connections, dreams, vision, subconscious thoughts, and trust. Believe in yourself, surrender. Bottom of the deck is scorpion, fixed water. Maybe you have Scorpio in your uh, birth chart, Virgo. Maybe the person you're reflecting on who you want to reunite with or who may be your twin flame is a Scorpio or has Scorpio in their birth chart as well. And again, if you've got a question about time, something happening for you, something changing within one week. All right. Add that to your to-do list here, Virgo. All right, let's get some more messages, advice for you. What do you need to know? Hey, you guys, if you've seen a Snake Lady Tarot video, like, share, subscribe. Hit that notifications button. You won't miss out on any future readings, especially when we do Virgo the Lovers. You're not going to want to miss out. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. We have a new channel. It's growing beautifully. And I appreciate all your support, all the donations, all the comments. Thank you. Third party interference. Perhaps that's why you had to break up and now you're looking to reunite. Perhaps there was some self-sabotage. I have self-sabotaging energy. All right. Um, something you may have known you were doing and weren't weren't ready to quit or you were talking about something they didn't want to talk about. self sabotage um, Perhaps you just weren't putting in action when it was requested. Um, but there's closure and there's celebration. Um, perhaps with the closure, you're wanting to reunite, reconnect and have harmony again. Um, but I feel like you're celebrating right now with those around you, the people in your close energy and your close circle. All right. Um, some communication. Perhaps that was the third party interference with your twin flame. And honestly, Virgo, you're quite a dreamy individual. I feel like you've probably even been having dreams about this person trying to manifest them back into your current energy. All right. Bottom of the deck, divine feminine. Control your emotions, your feelings. Um, don't allow self-sabotage energy, worry, anxiety, fear to block your blessings here. All right. All right, let's get it. 
So we're continue. we're going with the flow. I almost feel like it's like an ex from your past wanting to get back together. And you were kind of like, I'm not no holler back girl or guy, whatever this is for you. Um, I just feel like celebration. There was some third party interference. Um, there's closure. You're not together anymore. Perhaps they want to reunite. They see you as a twin flame. But the closures happened and I feel you're in celebration energy. I don't feel you looking back and wanting this reunion. All right, we have beyond. We have a vision. So you are seeing things in your dreams. You, um, it, it, it is a blessing. It's a gift, all right, that you're able to see this. And it's just a gift to let you know that ego equals death. All right, self-sabotage. This comes from egotistical arrogance. This comes from being self-assured and not willing to make changes. This comes from being in your divine masculine energy, not your divine feminine. Um, so definitely spirit advises, get in touch with your divine feminine energy. Um, open communication, even if it's just with yourself, but be open, honest with yourself um, about your vision, about your future, about how you want to move. This will allow you to have trust in yourself, believe in yourself and surrender to yourself and to your future. All right. All right, so I love it. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot for you. Messages, advice for Virgo. Our earthly Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Your energy, Virgo. Knight of Vessels. Knight of Cups. Oh, you want... You're in the energy to either offer someone something genuine or you want someone to offer you something genuine. Um, it could be love. It could be friendship, relationship, soul, flame type of energy. But you want them to you, you want the action in that energy. You want that action. Whoever is bringing the action, they need to bring it and bring it forth. All right. Three of swords is what is in your memory. When you look back in your recent past, you feel heartache, grief heartbreak, um, a little bit of pain in your recent past. It keeps you up at night. Nine of Swords energy, it keeps you up at night. You're not able to sleep. You sit up thinking about it. Maybe a little bit of self-sabotage energy, worry, anxiety, fear. It keeps you up at night. You're allowing this to block your blessings, whatever pain this was for you. If it was a relationship, if it was family of sorts, um, but some event happened and it, it broke your heart, Virgo. Um, and that's what you're reflecting on. It's putting you in a defensive energy, seven of staves, seven of wands. So now you're defensive. You're protecting yourself. You're um, being cautious and guarded. What weighs heavy on your heart? What's in your heart matters. We have the three of staves. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for collaboration. You're waiting on this person to make this offer so you can collaborate and work together and have harmony, reconnect, reunite. Virgo, you're like one plus one is two. Let's do this. Where are you? I don't I don't see you. All right. Um, King of Pentacles. This is your mental, physical, spiritual health here, Virgo. King of Pentacles. You're paying attention. Um, you're demanding. You're commanding. You're in charge. You're taking authority. You're like, respect my authority. Um, King of Pentacles. You're taking charge because you feel like you make the decisions financially for the foundation, for the security. So mentally, physically, spiritually, you're taking control. Um, whether that means you are giving divine counsel, um, therapy to yourself, praying, meditating for yourself, or, you know, 
drinking a lot of water, vegetables, exercising physically for yourself. The energy around you, friends, family, your your neighbors, your colleagues, your bosses, lovers, family, and it's the energy around you in your day-to-day -day cycle. Star energy. This is Aquarius. I'm sorry. Sun energy. All right. Sun energy. This is Pisces energy. Um, the people around you are happy, genuinely. They are happy through and through to their core. They found something they're passionate about, something they want to be devoted to and work for and celebrate. The people around you are very happy. And what's ending for you, Virgo? Nine of vessels, nine of cups. Something abundant is coming to an end. Something that feels good to you. Something, it could be a certain connection with a person. It could be... Um, it's certain assurances, um, but they're coming to an end for you. Um, it could be due to your caution. It could be due to the seven of staves energy, this defensive protective type of energy, you putting your guard up, um, but it may be blocking your blessings. Like I said, self-sabotage. Don't let this third party interference block your future blessings. All right. It's like when you get your heart broke, you don't walk around afraid to love because then you're blocking your love blessings. You got to be open. We have the eight of pentacles for your spiritual tendencies. Spiritually, you're abundant. Spiritually, you have good energy. You know when to find the good energy to keep moving, to find ambition, drive, determination, right? You're not stagnant. You're not the type of energy to sit still. You're going to keep going with the flow. You'd be content with just continuing to move as long as you're moving and not sitting still. So Eight of Pentacles is your spiritual tendencies. Um, you spiritually tend to be abundant in good energy and be able to balance and regain energy as well. Two of Vessels, Two of Cups with work. You may find partnership. You may find a union or harmony with work, something that's important to you, something you find passion with at work. Um, it could be a new beginning. It could be love. It could be great pay. Something positive is coming forth for you when it comes to work here, Virgo. King of Swords. This is what you're passionate, devoted about. This is what you manifest. This is what you dream about and wish for. King of King of Swords. Um, different than um, King of Cups energy. All right. Different than King of Vessels. This is authority. This is your opposite. This is your twin flame energy here. Your, your psychic mirror. All right, Virgo. Um, this is someone who is like, respect my authority. Cuts them off. You know, um, you're either on the team. You're either with me or against me. And cut. You know, um, not dealing with heartache. It's just um, complete control of masculine energy. Complete control of their uh, masculine, their divine masculine energy here. And what's going to prove difficult for you finding this energy or you being taught by this energy? This King of Swords is a teacher. They're a leader. They have something to that you want to learn from. Um, experience, intelligence, wisdom. Um, so they're almost emperor energy, right? And what's going to prove difficult for you is this nine of staves, this nine of wands, defensive protection. Let me put my guard up energy, like I said. Um don't block your blessings. All right. You've got beautiful energy coming into you. Do not block your blessings here, Virgo. All right. Messages and advice. Just don't forget ego equals death to all of your visions, all of your plans, all of your dreams. Don't self-sabotage. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. You have to move past this heartache here, Virgo, or um, it's going to keep you stagnant, stuck in negative energy, which means you're only going to bring forth negative wishes um it's it's like it's like uh, 
it's like genie in a bottle, right? You have to be very careful the way you ask the genie questions because they'll, they'll allow you to self-sabotage. You know, you want fame and, and they'll give you fame, but the bad fame, the crippling fame, right? You have to be very specific because if you're a negative energy, you're going to get back what you asked for, but in a negative way. Third party interference, self-sabotage, relationships are going to come to closure. Um, positive nine of vessels energy is going to come to an end like we have here for you um, over the next few days um, while Pisces season is reaching its cusp. So I hope you're able to gain control of this and and not allow self-sabotage to block your blessings. I have chakra clearing for you. Beautiful purple, great energy. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. Clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Bring forth that positive energy and bring it outside of you. Live in the light that you want to receive. Live in the love that you want to receive. Be positive. Positive, positive. All right. That's what I have for you today, Virgo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notifications button. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Stay tuned for Virgos the Lovers on this birthday special. Good luck with everything, Virgo. Blessed be.